Hi everybody, welcome to Simple Interest and Future Value. In this video, I'm going to be emphasizing on future value because I've already explained simple interest in another video. Now, let's look at simple interest. Simple interest is basically where you invest principal at the start and you earn interest during the period. Now, essentially, what you have here as an end result is your principal plus your interest. This is called your future value. And principal plus interest is essentially the formula for future value. Now it begs the question, what is interest? Well, we've learned the equation for interest already, haven't we? The simple interest formula is simple interest equals principal multiplied by your simple interest rate multiplied by time. So let's sub that in. Future value is now principal plus your interest, which is principal multiplied by your simple interest rate multiplied by time. And now you can see there's a P here and there's a P here. So let's let's take that out. Let's factorize. P taken out of this, so there's one left. P taken out of this, so there's RT left. That is your future value formula. And why do we need this? Because you can easily find out what the interest is and then just add it to the principal. And that will give you your future value. So what's what's the point of this equation? The point of it is that this equation encompasses four variables. So by using three of the variables, you can find the remaining variable. And let me let me show you how that's done. So let's write out our formula here. Your future value is your principal, open bracket, one plus your simple interest rate multiplied by time. And that is your future value formula. So if they asked you to find future value, simply run it by this equation. However, in the circumstances where they don't ask you for future value, rather they ask you for principle. How would you find principle? Well, you need to get principle on its own, don't you? So how would you get principle on its own? You divide both sides by 1 plus RT. And when you divide both sides by 1 plus RT, the 1 plus RT on here, this side will disappear, and what you'd be left with is future value divided by 1 plus RT. Now, let's, let's go into more depth. Let's say they wanted to find the simple interest rate. Now, that is going to take more than one step to get on its own, but let's, let's give it an attempt. Let's write out your formula first. P bracket 1 plus RT. Let's start by moving the principal over. So what you have is future value on your principal equals 1 plus RT. Let's move the 1 over now. Future value on your principal minus 1 is equal to your simple interest rate multiplied by time. Now I want to pause here. I want to stop here. Why do I want to stop here? Because let's say we there's an instance where we want to put time on its own. You're going to have to go through the same steps and you're going to end up at this line. And this line, you basically either move the time over to find your simple interest rate or you move the simple rate over to find your time. And I'll show you how. But I want to take this and I want to put it here for now. Yeah, I want to, I want to drag that out and use that step for a later later example. So for now, let's get back to this. How do we get the simple interest rate on its own? Well, we have to divide this whole other side by time. So let's put this whole other side in a bracket. So we know that this has to be calculated first. Future value on principal minus one or divided by time. And that would give you your simple interest rate. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's find Time. How do we find time? How do we get that on its own? Well, we go through these steps, just like we have, and instead of moving time over, we move the simple interest rate over. So essentially, what you have is future value on principal minus 1 in brackets, right? Because this has to be calculated first. You're dividing the whole thing by your simple interest rate. And that is your formula to find the time. Yeah? Now, Essentially, you have four formulas. One, 
to find your future value, two, to find your principal, three, to find your simple interest rate, and four, to find your time. And this has all come from one formula, the formula for future value. Now, I want to go through an example. Calculate the future value of an investment if principal is $1,000, simple interest rate is 10% per annum, time is one year. Let's write out the variables that we have. Principal is $1,000. $1,000. Your simple interest rate is 10% per annum. Your time is one year. So what do we have that's missing? Future value, right? That's the only variable that you don't have. So that means they must be asking for future value. So let's write out our formula. Future value equals P bracket 1 plus RT. Now, we don't need to rearrange this question because future value is already on its own. So that's fine. Let's just get into it. 1000 bracket 1 plus your rate 10% multiplied by one year. Your time and your rates are already in the same time unit, so you don't have to do anything to that either. What is the result of this? 1000 multiplied by 1 plus 0.1, so 1.1 equals $1,100 as your future value. I hope this video is clear and I hope you learned lots. Thank you.